Hey everyone, this is J Dog, and I'm here with another video. I just want to talk about what's been going on since George Floyd. You got fakers, you got people protesting, and then you got the fakers. Um, then you got the truths, the truthers. Um, basically, the P. Um, First of all, shout out to Colin Kaepernick for what he's trying to do. As a matter of fact, I'll talk about him in a separate video. Because uh, he was the one that was, that that's why he was kneeling. That was why he was protesting when he was kneeling during the National Anthem. Because he was protesting all the evil that was going on evolving with um, what's going on with the, the police brutality and stuff like that. So shout out to Kappa Kaepernick. Um, he was the only one, one of the few small sector of celebrities that was actually, um, bringing up awareness about the police brutality that has been going on in this country for years, but people ignored him and then people tried to blackball him. Um, people actually did whiteball him. Um, yeah, whiteball him and try to take him out of the NFL league because the NFL is just nothing more than a racist plantation. Of slave forty million dollar neat um idiots. Um, that's exactly what I see the NFL. It's nothing more than a freaking slave slave plantation. I mean, they now the NFL has to pay people, pay the owners to hire black general managers and coaches. I was like. You're telling me that the only way that these owners want to hire someone is if they're paid to do it instead of out of the kindness of the heart? Man, that, that shows you how racist the NFL. But we're not going to talk about the NFL. We're going to talk about was well, ever since what happened with George Floyd and that murderer, um, Dave Chalkville killed George. I mean, well, I mean, yeah, sorry. D um, Dave Chalkville was the police officer. Who murdered George Floyd. And um, this led to all the protests. And this is coming after we had incidents like Sam Reed. The Marine officer. Former Marine officer. That was killed by racist soldiers. Race soldiers. You had Breonna Taylor. Murdered by race soldiers. Not to mention. Um. Keith and Walker, her boyfriend, was trying to defend their home against the race soldiers. When we turned out, it was all a vendetta against them. And then Keith Walker shot at one of them because he was defending his household like what a real man is supposed to defend his household. He got arrested for defending his household, but luckily he is out of jail. And the charges have been dropped. But they'll try to find a way to put him back on. But he, Keith Walker, is a hero for defending his house because some race soldiers decided to break in just to mess with them and killed his girlfriend, Brianna Taylor. You got George Floyd. What happened with, uh, oh, let's talk about Ahmaud Aubrey real quick. We had Ahmaud Aubrey. He was killed by racist white people. They're not, they were not cops. But the, uh, you had the McMichaels just go on a vigilante tirade to kill Ahmaud Aubrey. See, black people have been the victims of racism for years. We're the biggest victims of racism. And for years, we've tried to march, pray, and forgive, which is which we should not have been doing. We should not have been forgiving these racists because they never forgive black people when something goes wrong and it, the black person is at fault. So why should we forgive these racists? Who keep attacking black people day after day. You got politicians trying to make laws to hurt black people. Not to help the country. But to just only hurt black people. These politicians. You have these race soldiers. Then you have some of these sellouts. Who sell out the black community. And stuff like that. Now let's talk about the, the difference between the Michigan State protest. And the current protest with Floyd. You had these these white supremacists with guns and um, just walking into the state capitol with weapons and the police didn't do nothing. They just stood there like 
cowards. Um, one, I believe it was the, the black, uh, uh, um, politician that, um, was at the Michigan State Capitol. Uh, shout out to those brothers and sisters who came with, um, arms and protected that, um, that congresswoman and, um, Michigan Cap State Capitol because the police were not protecting her. It's a black woman. I forgot what her name was. So, uh, uh, uh I lost track of her name, but I'll probably find out. Uh, they had to get, uh, they had to come in and protect the black female, um, lawmaker, or, um, lawmaker because the cops weren't doing it. And you didn't see no National Guard and Trump, Chunk, Ronald McDonald Chunk was calling them all sorts of patriots because they want the government to reopen so they can eat at a, a restaurant knowing that this virus, we got this pandemic going on. COVID-19 could spread if they do this, but they, these, these racists were protesting to eat at a restaurant, uh, dine in at a restaurant. Meanwhile, you have this, what uh, actual cause, a protest, some peaceful protests, some rioting, but they're doing it for a cause. They're doing it because, uh, the, the racial injustice from these race soldiers and these other races, like what happened with George Floyd. Some of them have no weapons at all, but they're still being attacked. The police is attacking them with tear gas, attacking them with tasers, attacking them with weapons, and they're calling the National Guard, and then the, uh, the politicians, like Ronald McDonald Trump, is uh saying nasty things, saying uh, uh uh talking about the looters and stuff like that. It's like this country has looted. Pe the white supremacists have looted are the biggest looters. This is uh the whole rioting thing. That's a part of war. Okay, we're in a war right now. We are in a war. We're not. This, this ain't Pete. We're in a war. Looting is actually a battle strategy. Okay, I usually don't condone looting. But then again, uh, these CEOs, they loot from everyone all the time. These politicians, they loot from everyone all the time. And it's so-called legal looting. And war, looting is actually a battle strategy. Since these governments, these cities want to sanction um, the murder of innocent black people, why don't we uh, uh, fight back and even hurt them financially um, and stuff like that? That's what some of us are doing. We're um, hurting them financially. We're boycotting them and stuff like that. Because for years, these corrupt people have looted the citizens of this country, especially black citizens. And now when we loot back, we do our own lo looting against the corruption. All of a sudden, now you want to get mad. These policies want to get mad. It's like, uh, uh, you know, you're doing no better than the people who killed um, uh, uh, George Floyd, uh, shut up. Yeah, you got some of these, these, uh, idiots, like, um, I'm gonna show you an example right here. Yeah, you got this guy by the name of Caleb McGray, he's some, uh, uh, um, Falcon, um, yeah, he's a player for the Atlanta Falcons, this, and you know, this is a racist right here. He wants to talk about the loot, uh, the, 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 the people who are protesting, but he doesn't want to trash the cops. I wonder why. Then you got idiots like Lil Wayne. Yeah, Lil Wayne. He wants to say, uh, we black people should blame themselves. I was like, what? No, 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 no. We need to blame the gray soldiers. We need to blame the racists. It's their fault that this is happening, not black people. So yeah, Lil Wayne need to shut his mouth. Uh, he's nothing more than a washed up rapper, and this is why I know, uh, and don't, uh, don't listen to his music. And no one should boycott Lil Wayne, by the way, and boycott the Atlanta Falcons. Don't watch the NFL because once again, uh, Colin Kaepernick was kneeling in protest against this kind of um, action, against this police violence, against this racism towards black people. And another thing, where's the hotline? Yeah, to that, that district attorney in New York, where's the hotline to protect black people? They gave a freaking hotline to Asians 
the same ones who are racist towards black people, uh, they gave them a hotline, but they will not give black people a hotline after they've been attacked by racist police officers. Yeah, you got some of these celebrities. Now, I understand that celebrities want to say something um, in sincerity. Now, you got some real ones who were actually real from day one, like you call them Kaepernick's. But then you got just some random celebrities out of nowhere just doing nothing more. The, the reason why they're speaking out about this is because they're nothing doing this for PR and because they want many black people to watch their videos, watch sell or buy their music and watch their films and stuff like that. It's a PR move to talk about it. If that's because of the pandemic, no one is really doing anything because of the pandemic. So they figure, let me clout chase, even uh, uh even though I can care less about what's going on. Let me, uh, this is what the celebrities are saying. Let me clout chase and just say, uh, I feel sorry about what happened and clout chase and, 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 and uh, uh, I just sit here and I'm like, where was y'all when y'all had something to do? Where was y'all when it was happening to Maud Aubrey, Sandra Bland, Tamira Rice, Trayvon Martin? Only a few, maybe a small sector of celebrities who are real and shout out to them who, uh, were speaking about all this that's going on, like you call them Kaepernick's, and even in some degree, sometimes LeBron James was speaking out against um, against the violence and racism towards black people. But now you got some of these fakers coming in. And then, of course, you also got people on social media just insulting black people, because, saying, this is wrong. This is violent. Uh, you should do peaceful protests. You should forgive. You should pray for the enemy. Uh, I'm like, no, 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 no. So you wasn't doing that to those white supremacists at the Michigan State Capitol who are coming in and and with rifles and stuff like that. And notice that no National Guard was called on against those guys with rifles. That's why a lot of people... Uh, why black people are going to have to get to a point where we're going to have to start arming ourselves with any kind of weapon if we have to. Uh, that's why I also want to give a shout out to those people. Uh, it was a black gun activist group who uh, was escorting that, that one black congresswoman because the cops were just a bunch of cow racist cowards. And then there was another group of black gun activists who was protesting with weapons at the house of the murderers of uh, Ahmaud Aubrey, which was the McMichaels. And notice, also I wanted to notice that the cops didn't mess with them because they, uh, that would have been a violation of the Second Amendment rights because, because if, if the cops went after those black gun owners, it would show the hypocrisy and racism. Because this thing is global. You, you now have protests in Europe over what happened to George Floyd. You even have John Boyega speaking out against racism. Um, I think he's been speaking out against racism before. I'm not sure if that's true, then shout out to him. But then, of course, you got some of these clout chasers who's just, um, just being a bunch of clout chasers. Like, where was y'all when, um, where was some of y'all? And then I just thought that you got clout chasers, black, white, any other racial group who just uh, are like, where was y'all when some of this other stuff? All of a sudden, now that you got nothing to do, you have no job because of the pandemic, now you want to say something is wrong. And then you want to go out and some of these politicians like uh, Mayor Bottom of, of the Mayor of Atlanta wants to go attack the protesters, but not attack the cops. I was like, the cops is the reason why, and because the fact that black people have never gotten justice, or at least not most of the time never get justice why do you think it's come to this uh as black people in america it's gonna have to come up the only thing they understand is the fighting and the violence not the forgiving not the praying we're, we're done praying all right we've done the praying the praying has not helped the forgiving has not helped matter of fact all that did was embolden the white supremacists to be more and more and more and more violent so we're done. No more praying. No more forgiveness. Yeah, we need to stop that forgiveness crap. That forgiveness crap is a bunch of crap.
yeah, the revolution has finally begun. It finally got to a point because it, these races only understand us is uh, the only thing. The only thing the races understand is violence. The only thing they understand. I'm, I'm usually not one that condones violence. I usually condemn it. But it's going to get to a point that we're going to have to defend ourselves by any means necessary. And I, some of y'all races and some of y'all sellouts the, and anyone else who wants to talk negative about this video, about me, and want to try to flag it, F y'all. You say anything disrespectful in my comment section, you will be blocked and your comment will be removed. So you better not disrespect me about what I'm saying. So that's all I have to say for now. I want to, I still want to know what y'all think in the comment section. You say anything disrespectful though, your comment will be removed. And I will block you immediately. Now if your comment is removed and I didn't block you, it's most likely not because of me, it's because of freaking YouTube. But yeah, I really want to know what y'all think in the comment section. Um, also make sure you hit that like button, share, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and hit that notification bell. But that's all I have to say for now. This is J-Dog. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope to catch y'all in another video. Peace, everyone.